Howdy hell everybody. So today we are going to be creating a custom notification channel for Logsnack. Um, just because it's a cool product that's been getting a lot of traction recently, but you know, it will contain all of the logic that you can just reuse for any other provider. Uh, I will just be creating this for Logsnack because I wanted to, to try it for a while. So let's get started. So I will go ahead and create a project here. Uh, so I will just name it, um, you know, YouTube, for example. And let's jump into the documentation. Uh, I think there is a playground that we can use. And there is an example, probably, for PHP. Uh, and we can just copy the code. So now in our code editor, what we'll do is we'll go to uh, to app and inside of here I will create a new directory called notification channels and inside of here let's create a new class called uh, log snack notification channel all right and uh, if you know anything about notification channels in Laravel they are basically classes that contain a send method uh, so here we should have a send it will accept a notifiable uh, notifiable of unknown type and here we can basically copy paste our entire code do you know what I, I don't know if that's actually useful because we'll be using the uh we'll be using gazelle is there a way oh there is a way to to use gazelle so let's cop let's copy that it would be better let's just replace the content reformat this bad boy and you know this is a good start uh, let's just import the class and uh, we have a client, it has headers. Uh, there is some project that we need to send. And okay, uh, well, first of all, we need to extract these uh, these things to to, to config. Uh, so let's just do you know config services log snack um, API key. And we'll do the same thing for the project. Um, config, we'll reformat that later. Services log snack um, project ID. Okay. And um, now let's just go to our service. So let's go to services. And at the very bottom, we'll add our log snack. Uh, so we'll have our API key that will defer to ENV, and here we'll uh, just do log snack API key. And let's do the same for project ID, project ID, and then log snack project ID. Now, uh, we need to make sure to uh, add these to our env that example. This way, uh, you know, any new programmer on our project will have access to them and will know that they are available. And we also need to go to our ENV and uh, obviously send all of these, uh, add the values for them. Now we need to find the API key. Uh, which we can create from here. I will copy the value. And then we need the project ID. So I'm assuming our project ID would be this thing here in the console. And uh, we also need a channel. So let's create one. Let's call it um, subscribers, for example. So maybe, you know, we are getting a notification whenever somebody subscribes to our channel. And for now, we'll just import these classes here. And instead of echo, let's return and remove all of that. Uh, so now let's create a new notification. So we can use PHP Artisan make notification. And let's call it subscriber notification. Okay, uh, so this will create a new folder for us. And inside of this folder, we'll have this notification. Now we'll remove all of that. And there is this method here called via, and inside of here, we need to return our class. So 
log snack notification channel. And for now, let's just do user first notify new subscriber notification. Okay, so now let's just run it. And uh, we need to add a full namespace here for now. So let's do app notifications. And he didn't return anything, but did it work? Okay, it didn't. I presume that this is because we pushed it to a channel called payments. Uh, we should push it to subscribers. All right, so my bad. Uh, the project ID should also should be just called YouTube, which is what we created here, uh, not the actual ID, and then it sends properly. Uh, so you now it works. It's doing what we wanted to do. There is obviously a couple of problems. First of all, this code is kind of ah. So um, what we could do is we could just transform it to use the Laravel's HTTP client. So the way we could do it is we could do uh, HTTP as JSON with headers, and here we can pass this array. Uh, we can remove the content type, and we can do posts. Here we can paste the URL, and then uh, we can add our data. So you know the project. So this would be our config call and our channel, uh, so subscribers, events, payment successful. I'll just copy this and remove all of that. And let's retest it and see if it works. And it seems that it still does. Uh, that's great, okay. So the base of our notification channel obviously works. However, we need our notification channel to be able to pull the data from the actual notification because now it's not really reusable like at all. Um, so what we could do is uh, second parameter passed here is an instance of the notification. So we'll get this notification here. And uh, what we can do is do notification and we can call methods on it. So for example, um, to log snack. As you can see, this, this notification, obviously there is a chance that this method doesn't exist there. So what we could do is we could do something, you know, if uh, the method doesn't exist on the notification instance that's called to log snack, uh, we'll just throw a new exception. We could also create a custom one uh, for the sake of simplicity, I'll just use this one and let's just call it uh, you know two log snack is not implemented on notification all right so this takes care of our data and let's go to a notification that uses this so our implementation and now inside of here we can just create two log snack so this will you know return an array and um We'll just copy all of that. Let's return this array. Uh, and here we'll just pass the, the data. And uh, yeah, let's let's start with that. So let's try and send it again. And you know, it will work. There is one more thing that we should do. We should pass the notifiable here uh, to our method. And here we can, you know, accept this notifiable. So uh, we could do something like payment successful for, and you know, we could do notifiable name is the default one, I believe. So let's run it, and yeah, we can see it works. So this is pretty cool. Now, you know, project is something that, depending on your use case, you would either keep a notification or a move to the. The, to the notification channel. So what I will do is just move it to here. And, uh, you know, let's do something like uh, this, paste our project, and let's just destruct uh, this thing right here. So this way, you know, we can always customize the project, but there is also the default one. Um, so this kind of fits everything pretty nicely. Uh, this should 
you know, obviously still work, but let's just test that. And it did. But, you know, maybe we want to use block stack somewhere else, not only in this notification channel. Uh, so to kind of extract the logic, uh, what we could do is we could just create a service, uh, services. Let's refactor that. And uh, we could just, you know, create like a log snack service. And inside of here, we could also like have a send method. So we could do a public function, you know, send. And uh, let's just copy this over. And here we could do return new log snack service sends and let's pass the data and here we could simply do this and accept the array of data uh, now this is you know a bit better but you know people could just pass the wrong data and stuff like that so just to make it a teeny tiny bit better uh, we can create a, a data transfer object called log snack DTO and uh, this will be a simple class um, so like in the constructor we can accept all the things that we were passing in this array so let me just copy those and I will paste them here for reference and uh, yeah we'll need a public read-only string for the channel We'll need public read-only string for the event, public read-only string for the icon, and public read-only uh, boolean for the notify. Also, you know, maybe the icon is nullable or something. I don't know. Uh, doesn't matter. Uh, so yeah, this way we are always sure that the data that's actually passed from the notification is is the proper data. Now let's extract this data one level higher. So let's just do data equals this. Uh, we can also do like an assertion. So, you know, if data is not the instance of Oxnack DTO, uh, then we can just throw new exception to Oxnack should return Oxnack DTO. So, um, this way we are sure that we are always passing the, the right stuff. So let's uh, maybe remove this data from here. We'll handle it differently. And, uh, you know, we now need to change the implementation of this method because, you know, if we were to send it right now, we would get and this, this, exception, this exception that we just created. Uh, so inside of this, we'll just do return new log snack DTO. And we can just do, you know, channel subscribers, event, new subscriber. Uh, so let's actually make it make sense because, you know, even successful was not really a good name. Now we can do the icon, which would be big heart and notify. Let's do true. Sure. Okay, so let's just remove all of that, and this now should obviously return logsnack DTO. And our service will also, you know, no longer accept an array, it will accept a logsnack DTO. So now what we could do is uh, simply create the same logic that we had before. Maybe let's change it to DTO, and our data will be you know what we had before so project config services log snack project id and then uh we can do something like dto to array or something um so now you know just implement this method right here this will return an array and we can just list everything so you know a channel would be this channel an event would be this event. Uh, we can do the same with icon and notify. And uh, this looks pretty good. Now, the, there is one thing that we could also do. 
Um, we could create like an interface where the two log snack method would return the proper type and probably type it, type hint it right here. So the PHP will throw there automatically, but I know I find this more convenient, especially like not trying to override the default Laravel way of doing things. So this is kind of like a middle ground for me. Um, but yeah, either way, I, I hope this makes sense and uh, that you guys did enjoy it. And, uh, and you know, now just do what the notification channel tells you to do. <laughs>